Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. A day of firsts for President Joe Biden's White House, beginning with the swearing in of Madam Vice President Kamala Harris. So help me God. Following the inauguration ceremony, President Biden signed a slew of executive orders in the Oval Office. Help change the course of the COVID crisis. The directives include mandating masks for all federal property and employees, rejoining the World Health Organization, and extending nationwide eviction and foreclosure moratoriums, as well as student loan deferrals. They also stopped construction of former President Trump's border wall and the Muslim ban and rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement. And these are just all starting points. In her first press briefing, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki confirmed President Biden also sent a sweeping immigration bill to Congress. To responsibly manage the border, keep families together, grow our economy, address the root causes of migration from Central America. On Capitol Hill. Do you solemnly swear? Vice President Harris gave the oath of office to three new senators. Congratulations. Officially handing over the reins to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Turn to Democratic control under the first New York-born majority leader in American history. The Senate confirmed President Biden's first cabinet member, Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines. The yeas are 84, the nays are 10. With more expected today. The first full day of the Biden-Harris administration. Because of you, democracy has prevailed.